Hey golfers, welcome back to the Second Swing YouTube channel. Today, it's all about bombs, low spin tendencies. TSR4 versus Cali Rogue ST Max LS, triple diamond edition. So I'm very excited to see this. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. So yes, we have done some previous testing of the more forgiving models with TSR2, the, the lower spinning, more workable uh, TSR3 versus the different comparisons there. And now we're ultimate low spin, really. You know, we've got the TSR4. This is tight, this new, really low spin bomb yes. versus the Callaway Rogue ST Triple Diamond LS. Another very, very low spinning driver. Love it, love it. So with the first test we're gonna do, we're gonna put your same gamer shaft in there, the um, Graphite Design XC Extra Carry. For those of you that don't know what that on the XC on the Graphite Design is, uh, about six, 60 gram extra stiff, um, we also kind of lowered the loft on both of these from nine down to eight as well, and a little bit upright in both settings too. So we'll start out with this test, but then I've got a little sneak peek coming afterwards to really chase some distance. We'll see how that performs in both heads and see which one goes the furthest. Let's do it. Great start. Yeah, anytime I can get that ball to carry over 300, I'm a very, very happy guy. Yes. <laughs> 171. <laughs> Sounds just so different. Yes, <laughs> yeah. from kind of a more muted sound with Callaway, more carbon based. There is more of a tone to the TSR4 for yeah. sure. <laughs> 171. That was a little toey. Come on, spin. Ah, it wasn't italicized. Nice. Good. <laughs> Fourteen seventy nine spin. <laughs> That's low, low. That's really low. I haven't seen it that low in a while on a good solid strike. I've seen it on a toe hook. Right, but right. But the fact that it still stayed up in the air, carried longest. That was really good to see the forgiveness of that TSR four. Wow. Whew. One fourteen club speed. Wow. Good work on the club head speed. Ball speed wise, exactly like, kind of what we've seen so far with the TSR. Ball speed management, spin management, uh, ball speed retention has been better with TSR family as well, guys. So again, we're seeing this even in the low spin and more compact head size at 430 cc's. What I found interesting um, is I actually took all the heads and I weighed them as well with TSR. Even though the TSR4 is at 430 cc's, it's similar gram weight to the, the TSR2 and TSR3, even though the, those two heads are significantly bigger. Yep. So it's smaller, but the same weight, a lot more forward on the head, which is why that spin rate is significantly lower. And again, more consistent on that too. Yeah, you've definitely been talking a lot in the videos about ball speed management and spin management. I think yes. again, we're seeing here, once again, small sample size. Mm -hmm. So as, as we continue to contest and test, we'll see if this is the same all the way through. But so far it's been very, very valid. Yes. Is the consistency number, the plus or minus number number. It's been smaller with Titleist is what yeah. I've seen. Yeah. There's no doubt that Callaway, or the, the triple diamond there, I think I might have hit my furthest drive with the Callaway there. I think so too. But yeah. we'll, we'll notice that we just see that it was just very little more consistent there with the Titleist overall. Yeah, so when we go over the numbers, they're all pretty similar, just overall. Uh, the longest of the day was with TSR. Okay, so 331. Yeah, yep. and carry and back end distance, so both of them. Yep. Dispersion wise, pretty darn good, especially for you know, the low spin drivers, right? A lot of people are intimidated by that. Oh, it's low spinning, which means it's, I'm losing a lot of forgiveness. That's not the case anymore. Right. A lot of these drivers nowadays have so much forgiveness in, it's just trying to manage what's going on with the golf ball out there. That's why we're talking so much about 
ball speed retention, different hosel settings, how that can influence it, weighting of the club heads, where it is, can you adjust it or not? All these things go into a driver fitting. But looking at the results from you, Thomas, you know, with the TSR2 and TSR3 from other videos that we've shot, you found it a little difficult to turn them over to the point where you had to alter your grip to make some of those happen as right. well. I wasn't doing that today. That's interesting. Yeah. You know, something to note too with a smaller head size. Yep. You know, maybe it was a little bit easier for you to turn over. Too. I think it's a comfort thing. It's, I'm used to the the rounder, smaller head from my, sure. my driver for sure. Sure. I think it's just something that I'm comfortable looking down at. Yeah. 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 But really, really good to see. I think another thing to to bring up here too with Titleist is we adjusted these down as low as we can. Yeah. So with Callaway we went down minus one. Yep. With this, this is actually minus three quarters. So we have more so loft, we had 8.25, but if you take a look at the spin and the ball speed, mm -hmm. it was just a little bit, a little bit faster with the ball speed and just a little bit lower with the spin. Right. So this probably might take the cake for the lowest spinning driver out there. Well, we're about to find out really when we put in the, the Autoflex. Let's see what <laughs> happens with this. I'm very yeah. interested on this one. Yeah, so. and I was stuck here at 113 and a half for my club speed. So we'll see right. if this golf shack can give me a little bit extra. Absolutely. Let's chase the bombs, guys. Let's do it. 340. Let's see. Pretty straight. Very straight. They did pick up a couple miles an hour club speed. Ball speed, too. Yep, spin yep. just came up a touch. Yep. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I'm getting a little more club speed, a little more ball speed. But what's really interesting with this golf shaft, it's spinning more. It is. I mean, one five smash both times, but we're significantly seeing about 500 RPMs more spin. Could be, a, you know, the length. You could be, could be influencing a little bit of dynamic loft. Yep. A little bit differently, right? I bet if we go into the numbers, we're a little bit higher with this shaft in there. That could have some influence on it for sure. That was it good. Actually, how consistent is that spin with this golf shaft? <laughs> uh, how 67 RPM, sir? between those. <laughs> so club speed we gained, ball speed we gained, launch came down slightly, spin came up, but wow, look at the consistency. You brought that up from 256, so TSR delivered there again, consistency wise. But now with this golf shaft pairing, now it's evolved into something, a completely different beast, right? It's launching right. better, it's spinning really nicely. So we're picking up seven extra yards of carry and a couple more as well but wait for the best part generally when players go into something longer it's hard to find the middle hard to control but in your case the mysterious auto flex <laughs> delivers the tightest circle that's fine wow that's not what i would have expected same yeah i'm a little disappointed that the spin went up because right. i was chase trying to chase that 340 for yeah, sure we did knock the loft but, even further down to seven and a half there too yeah. but it is important to remember dispersion versus distance sometimes yeah. most of the time wins especially yeah. if you're already hitting at 325 326 right yeah. yeah so now let's see what the tsr4 has to say with the autoflex as well see if we can't get that lower spin we did see it in the first test so let's do the same thing and see if it delivers the low spin again <laughs> 310. 15, 15, 15. <laughs> Remember? So, a lot of 15s going on in this video. Club head speed 115. Launch at 15. Spin at 15. Um, today's date is the 15th. <laughs> so a lot of 15s going on. So, longest carry today, 310, 334.7. Wow. <laughs> There we go. Stay down, spin. That's a good one to finish on. Yep. That's the bomb we were waiting for all video. Fantastic there. Really, really good. So I, I think you know, it's safe to say that TSR4 
is a little bit lower spinning than where the Callaway Rogue ST Max LS, the triple diamond even yep. is. Especially with the ability to change weight, put more forward, take some out. A lot more adjustability, but good things forgiveness wise, right? We spoke again on ball speed management, retention, spin rate consistency. Let's see what shook out once we put the autoplex in play. So club head speed, a little bit faster with the Callaway. A little bit more ball speed as well. A little bit more consistent. The efficiency was up a little bit more with TSR4. So that ball speed management, check mark. Yep. It was launching higher and spinning a little bit lower than uh, where we were with the Rogue ST. Okay, so a little bit lower. So longest of the day in both categories. But you know, we saw a little bit more variable on the strike locations with yeah. the Autoplex due to the length and the weight and the <laughs> stiffness. Yep, the mystery behind it all. Yep. So that last one that was- That last one awesome. was awesome. It, it doesn't get any better than that, yeah. right? But, but there was some other shots when I was hitting the, the triple diamond with the Autoplex shaft. It felt like they were a little low on the face. It yeah. caused the spin to go up a little bit. Um, TSR4 felt like maybe a little bit more off center as well. Yeah. So yes, this shaft can help you generate a little more club speed. Yeah. You, I've hit my furthest drives of the day with it, but the consistency, well, the TSR4 went down a little bit. Mm -hmm. With Callaway, the consistency, I, I can't explain that. <laughs> right, right, uh, can the, I mean, If you take a look at the dispersion <laughs> pattern there, you can't really explain that blue circle, but right. um, yeah, it's, it's they're both low spin bomb, bomb drivers, and yeah. I think this definitely tight. This is good for some people, and Callaway is good for others. Absolutely. Yeah. So this was a great test, just to showcase what a golf shaft can do, where it can influence strike, but also the attempts to try and create more distance, chasing the bombs. We saw we we can catch one every now and then, but consistency-wise, guys, uh, we've seen Titleist and Rogue ST really deliver the ball speed as well as the overall distance. So. Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots today. Guys, if you like the video, smash that subscribe button. We'd love to hear all your comments and feedback on the channel. We do listen. So, Thomas, thanks again for hitting all the shots. Guys, what, interest, what interested you most with this video? Was it the distance? Was it the mysterious autoflex shaft? Are you gonna be in either one of these club heads in the next season? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you next time.